couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lick and Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lick and Riff. In this video, we're gonna learn Purple Rain. First, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this, enjoy. Alright, so before we start, we owe a big thank you to the private student who purchased this as a private arrangement and donated it to the channel for everyone's enjoyment as a tribute to his favorite artist, Prince. Thank you very much, private student. Let's start. You start with A add 9. Okay, A add 9 is A with 4 on the 3rd string. Okay, this is the add 9. So, you play it like this. Fingers 1 and 2 on the 2nd and 4th strings on the 2nd fret. Okay, kind of like... A7 with four on the third string with your pinky. Okay, and you get this beautiful chord A at nine. And now the basic rhythm that I use here is this. Okay, it's strings two, three, four, and five as the chord. Then I play the E string, and then I slap and play the first, second, and third strings. Okay, and then I play the bass again. It's this. Chord, 
E string slap, strings one, two, and three chord again, and then the bass again. Okay, low chord, high chord. Okay, that's the exchange that I use. Low chord first, and then high chord. Okay, that's the beauty of finger style. You can play strings two, three, and four as a low chord, and then strings one, two, and three as a high variation of the same chord. And um, nothing is set in stone here. You can take this rhythm, you can play it, you can vary it on it. I do uh, listen to the demonstration again. I play this rhythm in various uh, ways. Sometimes I just play the first string, sometimes I play the whole chord, sometimes I arpeggiate the chord between the rhythm pattern, um, you know, chords. Uh, nothing is set in stone, just play it as you feel it at the moment. That's all I can say about the rhythm. Now let's continue. That's the first chord. A add nine. Then you play F sharp minor. You can play the whole chord, of course, and vary it on that. Okay? Or, as I do, an economic version of this, strings one, two, and three on the second fret, bar it, and the thumb on two on the bass. Okay, that's just a little bit more comfortable for me. You don't have to do it. You can play the whole chord. And then you have E add nine, which is E with four on the D string, on the fourth string. Okay, so again, fingers one and two on one and two on uh, strings three and five. Okay, and four with your pinky on the D string. Then you play D add nine, which is the same bar as you did for the F sharp minor on strings one, two, and three on the second fret with five on the second string. Okay, the open D string, of course, is your bass note. Okay, so it's two, five, two. Okay, that's your chord here. And that's the opening chord progression. A add nine. And then F sharp minor. And then E add nine. I'm playing variations on my basic rhythm on purpose. And then D add nine. Okay, you can do it any way you like. And then you start the verse. A add nine. And then it's this. Okay? With an F sharp minor bass note there between the last two notes. It's two, 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 pull off to zero on the second string. Okay? You can use the chord. And then just pull it off at the end. Then it's two on the third string, four on the fourth, and then it's two on the third again. Then you put your thumb on the F sharp bass, play it, and then hammer on the two to four on the third string. It sounds like this, right? Like this. So it's, got it? Two, four, two, bass, hammer on to four on the third string. You can do it differently, of course. You can do uh, two and two, okay, the third and sixth string. You can uh, play the F sharp minor there uh, like this. Okay, something like this. I just prefer this because A, this is a solo with my thumb on the bass string, leaving my fingers open to solo, and it fits the song. Okay, so try to work hard on that if it confuses you at first. Uh, it's just another skill to have. So, two on the third, four on the fourth, two on the third, two on the sixth, hammer on to four on the third. So it's this. Okay? And then you play the F sharp, then the E at nine, and then you have this. This is a bit easier because you have the open D string at the end. So it's um, four second strings, then hammer on to two, pull off to zero. Right? And then two, four, two again on strings three, four, three, just like into the F sharp minor. Now it's into D. So it's. Then you play the D string at the end as your next bass note. Then you can put the D at nine and play the rest of the rhythm. Like this. Okay? Just be 
calm, let it flow. You can play any variation of the chord. You can just keep playing a D5 there. Everything works. Then you play the A add 9 F sharp minor line again. Okay. Then you have this E7. Okay. It's 2, 4, 3 on strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay. This is a D7 shape. Okay. Just up two frets. And we don't play the E string, so we put this on. If it's easier for you to put the whole shape on, by all means do. So it's 2, 4, 3 on strings 2, 3, and 4. With the 6th string as your bass note, of course, this is E7. And you play the chord. Okay? For the whole lyric, except for purple rain. So it's 6, slide to 4, 2, 2 on the 3rd string with the A bass at the end, okay? So it's this. Okay, and you can slap in the middle, you can play it however you like. And that's your verse. Now the chorus starts with, okay, this is all on the third string. It's one slide to two, and then four two, and then four slide to six. Okay, this is the first half. And then it's uh, kind of the same as before. Six slide to four, two, two, and then you start the D add nine chord. Okay, now as a variation, I play D sus two here. D add nine is D with the F sharp and an E note added. And D sus two is D where you replace the F sharp with E. So this is why it's sus2, because you replace the F sharp, you replace the third of the chord. And the add nine is where you add the E, but leave the F sharp on. So that's the difference between these two variations of the added E note. So um, you can play the sus2 here. same line with the D bass string added. And at the end you play either A sus2 or A add 9. Again, same principle but with a B note. Added to an A chord. And then you play this variation of F sharp minor. Okay, because we need the open second string now. So I put two fingers on strings two and three on the second fret with the thumb on two for the F sharp bass. Okay, and I play the bass first, then I play this. Okay? Not the most elegant of ways, but it's a finger style arrangement, so we can let one line go as, uh, you know, a more basic way to play it. And um, it's two on the third string, then the open second string, then two on the third string again, then two on the second. Okay, and that kind of closes the chord and creates the harmony. And then two pull off to zero on the second string, right? And then two on the third, then two on the fourth, and you play the E bass. And then you can play the E chord, or E add 9, whatever you like. And then you have the E7 line again. Okay, and you can finish with A5, 2, 2, and 0 on strings 3, 4, and 5. Okay, with a bar on 2 and 2 on strings 3 and 4. And again, the chorus. Two. And now the same line with the D bass. Now A sus2. Then this variation of F sharp minor. And then two on the fourth with the E bass. Then E. And then the E7 line. Now, as a variation here, 
on the E7, I exchange three and four from strings um, four and three to strings three and four, and this creates D over E. And then, right at the end of the line, I put them back where they belong and make an E7. So, listen to the difference. Okay? It creates a D and E move with an E bass. of just E7 and A. Now, it's not in the original song, it's just uh, creative freedom that I took here. You can do it, you can choose not to and leave it out. Okay? That's the first chorus. The second chorus is the same, the exact same line, just harmonized. So it's uh, this. Okay? It's two and two on strings two and three. And then it's three and four on strings two and three, then two and two again. Then you take three and four and slide them two, five and six, then slide it back. And then it's two and two, and then it's two and three. Okay, it's three on the second string because we're going for a D chord here. So it's okay, for a D. And then just leave the E string open for the sus2 sound. And then it's the same line. Just with 2 and 2 at the end instead of 3 and 2 because this is A now. And then you can open the second string for sus2 or just leave it with A. It works the same. So uh, that's the only difference. Then you do the F sharp minor line exactly the same way. Then the E7 or the D over A to E7 and then back to A, then we'll have the solo, so let's just listen to the harmonization one last time. A, D, and then with the D bass, you play it again, and then 2, 2, 4, A, and then F sharp, and then it's this, or start the solo. I play this. Okay. Slide to 4 on the 3rd string, 2 on the 2nd, then 4 on the 3rd again, then 5 on the E string. Now this creates another variation of A add 9. Okay. These are inside the chord and I just add a high A note, which is a solo note. And again, you can play the rhythm here however you like. It's a solo, it's supposed to be a solo, so just have fun with it. Then I bar the second fret, leave five on the E string again, same thing with my pinky as the solo note. Okay, it's the same solo note between A and 9 and F sharp minor. I play strings 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay, this. And then I play this. Okay. It's 14, 14, 14, 12 on the E string, harmonized by 13 on the 3rd string with the E bass. Now, 13 on the 3rd string is an octave of this, okay? This note, okay? The G sharp note, which is inside the E chord. So, basically, the 6th string and the 3rd string create an E chord just faintly, and... 14 and 12 are my solo. And then it's kind of the same rhythm pattern with 7, 7, 7, 5 on the E string, harmonized by 5 and 7 on strings 2 and 3, making this kind of a D sus2 sound with the open D bass. Okay, this is D sus2. Okay. And this is my solo. So I play strings 1, 2, and 3 all the way. And then it's A again, but this time I bar to the 4th uh, string. I bar on 2, leave the A string open, and I play 5. Then I do any lick I feel like with 2, 4, and 5 on the E string. Okay, something like this. 
and then I play 0, 2, 2 on strings 1, 2, and 3 with 2 on the bass, making this F sharp minor 7. And this creates kind of a melody line, okay, with 5, 4, 2, and 0, so it's... As long as you lead to the open E string, everything is fine. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can just play 4, 5, 2, or 5, 4, 2, or 2, 4, 5, 0, okay? As long as you end on 0, everything is fine. And then you just play an E chord, okay, with your open E string as the melody, then a D, okay, or D at 9, or D sus 2, and then it's this. Okay, it's a slide to seven on the fourth string, on the D string, then five, okay, so it's seven, five on the D string, then it's on the fifth string, seven, six, five, three, so it's, okay, and then it's five, three on the sixth, okay, this is A blues pentatonic, and then a5, 2, 2, and 0 on strings, 3, 4, and 5. Then starts the hook of the solo, which is this. Okay, or at the end there, you can vary between the two endings. It's a bar on 9 on strings 2 and 3, right? And you play this 10 on the second string, and then 9, 10, 9, 10, hammer on pull off, and then 10 again. And then again, okay? And every time you pick, you just pick the nine on the third string with it. And then it's either nine, 10, or nine on the second string, then nine on the third. Okay, so it's. Okay, and you can add the A bass anytime you feel like. can uh, hammer on and pull off again, then start with the F sharp bass, which is 9 on the 5th string. Or do a variation, which is this, okay? It's the same F sharp minor with an, a high A note that we played before, bar on 2, 5 on the E string, and it's this, you can play the whole chord, and the solo would be it's just between 4 and 5. It's the same idea, just between 4 and 5 instead of 10 and 9 on the second string. Okay? All depends on whether you want a low bass or a higher bass, which isn't technically a bass note. Okay? A low bass note or a higher one. Um, you could vary between the two, of course. Then you have it with E. And then it's uh, D. So I just play this, okay? Just the 10, 9, and the open D string. Or you can do. And then immediately play this. Play this again and start all over. Five and seven on strings five and four, right? a D five chord. Then instead of five, you play four, so it's four and seven. And then it's two and two, and then zero and zero. Then on the fifth string, four hammer on to five, pull off to four. Then it's two on the fifth string with the open sixth, okay? E five, and then it's A five again. Okay? So five and seven, four and seven, two and two, zero, zero, Hammer on pull off on 4 and 5 on the 5th string, and then E5, then A5. Okay? And then you have the part, um, which is again, you start with A, you're on A5, and you play. Okay? 2 0 on E, and then 2 pull off to 2 on the 2nd string, and then 2 again with F sharp minor. 
And then you have okay, E string, then 3, 2, 0 on the second string and 2 E. Okay? You play the 0 and then you play the E bass and the chord. And then you have this 3, 2, 0 again on the second string and then you play this again. Purple Rain. Before you go practice this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? There's a ton of material here for free and I upload a new lesson every few days. So what have you got to lose? Just click subscribe and join the Lick and Riff community. We'll be happy to have you here. So go download the tab. The link is below in the description and everything of course is for free including the tab. But if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff and help produce these lessons and make time for making the arrangements and working on them and filming the lessons, editing the lessons, everything. There's a large blue donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. Go download the tab and see for yourself. It's large, it's blue, it's beautiful, and it says donate. So I thank you very much for your generosity. I thank you in advance for everything. So thank you very much for watching. You go have fun with this. Bye for now.